less. But ultimately, everything was sent to Mumbai. the Mumbai Central Main Branch. All issuing branches for the political parties, there are only 24. Actually, there are four. But in so far as the purchasers are concerned, everything has been remitted back to the Mumbai Central Main Branch. Your Lordship is right. Central government framed the electoral bond scheme, which provided that the information furnished by the buyer shall be treated as confidential and the bank shall not and shall not be disclosed by any authority for any purpose. Now, Lord, we knew this is sensitive information. So, Charlie, ultimately, even your FAQs, which were shown to us during the course of the hearing, yes, the FAQs indicate that for every purchase, you have to have a separate KYC. Yes, we have that. So we have that. Therefore, it's very clear that every time somebody made a purchase, a KYC was mandated. That wow. One set of documents, namely the electoral bond application form, KYC documents, citizenship documents, and pains. Manav, there is no issue. We have the details. Oh, one Please don't misunderstand me. Therefore, you have the details. No, no, I have the details. I am sorry. I am not saying it's not there. One, one minute, Mr. Salve. Now, paragraph 10, you specifically say that all the purchases details have been kept in a sealed cover. Yes. In the applica main branch of the applicant bank. Correct, Manav. You just have to simply open up the sealed cover. And Malad, collate the names and give the details. Malad, as far as paragraph is, 11 is concerned, you, then you also you are saying that the Dhoni's details are being kept in a sealed cover, envelope in a sealed copper. Open up the sealed cover and give the details. In fact, tell Malad, where the only bit of information... If I'm not mistaken, uh, the EC was asked to file an affidavit which you, in a sealed aff, uh, affidavit or details in a sealed envelope, which we have not opened. Which we have not opened with regard to the donor details and other details during the course of hearing, which they may have filed. Manad, my my problem is this, Manad. I with uh, with respect, in fact, just uh, responding to what my lord has said. There are I have full details of who purchased the bond, but that's put in one silo of information. I have full details of where the money came from, which is in a second silo. And I have a complete detail of which political party tendered how many bonds and who has been paid how much. That's a, that's an easy easy ask. That can be given straight away. The problem is, Manad, I have to now put the name of the purchaser, which is in the first sealed uh, packet. And these are all physically kept. It, they were not put into the banking system. And have to, each form will have to be taken out. The name checked. That name now correlated to the payment detail and the payment detail correlated to the bond. And finally, that's where the bond number gets generated. And then we can connect as to which political party who has given that money. But why not? I have to keep... Direction I, correlated with the, the purchaser and the uh, political party. Manad, uh, para 76 what does suggest that. Would you not shift the seat for a moment? If you're not don't, go, don't go by what is suggested. Whatever you wanted to speak, we have uh, spoken in black and white. No, no, in that, Malad, your lordships, please see that sentence. I am not, Malad, we have no, de no desire at, at all to uh, try and expand our own job, Malad. Please see page 76. This by itself is creating difficulties. Malad, your lordships say, the detail shall include date of purchase of it bond. No problem. But the moment I have to give the detail of the name with the bond number, that is taking time because we are deliberately put these in two silos. If your lordships want only the details of who purchased the bonds, we can give that straight away. Mr. Sarvi, our judgment is dated 15th of February 2024. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are now on the 11th of March. Yes, ma'am. In the, in the last 26 days, uh, what extent of matching has been done by you? What what steps have you taken in the last 26 days? The application is absolutely silent on that. We, we can put we can put a detailed affidavit on uh, that. No, because I know it should have been disclosed in the affidavit. I, I agree. Man. I agree. Uh, state Bank of India, which is coming coming to us, we expect that there should be a degree of candor on the part of the State Bank of India. That this is what the work which we have done. The work is at this stage. We need an extension of time to carry out the balance of the exercise which remains. But we have we have sought to explain. The problem and the work is going on because why not each each form it will have to be form by form. Going on to what extent you have reached? Why not work is going on form by form. They will. I, if you are not I can give the exact detail of how many we have covered and how many more we can cover. But they did a rough uh, calculation. Why not it will take about three months more? Because I tell you my other concern. I have another big concern. Why not I cannot I cannot make a mistake in this. 
I'll get sued by the donor. I'll get sued by people because I cannot. I cannot by mistake say A got it when B had it. I just quote of this country. So where is the question of you being sued? I am sorry, Malad. You are being. You are whatever you are doing. You are doing under the directions of the highest court of. No, 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 Malad. If I make a mistake, if I say Mr. X got it instead of Mr. Y got it, in a hurry to give the numbers, I, I could create havoc there, Malad. Because no, ultimately, it, as you take it, Mr. Salvi, you are accepting. That there is no difficulty in giving names of the donors who purchase the bonds and the amount they purchase the bonds. You have got no difficulty in giving details of the political parties who have purchased the particular bonds. The only difficulty is matching the bond purchase bond with that. But twenty six days you may must have carried out at least some say ten thousand bonds you have been able to collate five thousand bonds you have been able to collate. Well, quite frankly, what I saw they were struggling with it. They were making charts which. We saw were not matching. I did, didn't. Uh, I tell you what has happened. No, I tell you candidly what has happened. If I'm not mistaken, it was pointed out to us that the bonds had some number which yes. under the, which under some uh, instrument they were able to. Yes, yes, yes. But that That's number all has to be done. Malad, that number is not to be found in the application for purchase or uh, in the uh, first set of documents. The problem is that number when was number was generated, that number has been scrambled and put elsewhere, and that number has been kept secret. Number putting that will require tracing it into each transaction. The at the stage of the interim order, Malad, and I'm not uh, I'm saying what happened at that time. The kind of information which your lordship asked was a macro information. So yes. that is no problem. In pursuance of the interim order, in yes. pursuance of the interim order. Yes. Election Commission of India has filed, uh, you know, uh, has filed details before us. Or whatever they have if, in separate silos, if we may can, if we can use that expression. Yes. The ministry has placed that, you know, in a secured, in secured custody with us. We'll direct them to open it here right now because since we were deciding a point of constitutional validity, we didn't consider it necessary either during the course of the hearing on or, or, or thereafter. So we can ask them to open it, and we'll ask the Election Commission of India to divulge whatever there is, and we'll ask SBI to then divulge what we have asked them to do. Yes, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll send it to before us. Your Lordship, Mr. Sharma, Mr. Sharma, whatever has been placed by you before us, in compliance with the judgment, we will direct that to be open right now. And your Lordship directed us to give it to the uh, ECI, so we'll give it to the ECI. Your Lordship wants us to file it directly in court. I think better through the ECI. Uh, no, you, uh, Mr. Salve, you comply with the order of the court to give it to the ECI. Whatever ECI has placed in the court already, we will direct that to be open. We'll ask our court to make a copy of it, a digitized copy for the safekeeping of the court, and then we will return it back to the the rest. We'll re we'll return it back to ECI for them to upload it on their website. But what ECI has already, there's no problem. We will give to the ECI as. Uh, in the time, if you are not to give three, three months, we will go and give, give it to the ECI. And they, as, as and when they get it, they can upload it. We want to make sure we get every bond number right, every donor right. So, Malad, this otherwise is going to create create havoc for today for donors who come and say, This is not my bond, I did not purchase this, you put the wrong number on my bond, I did not give the There is no question of that. Once he is given the KYC, he is given the details, you also have the application. The application will be having the no, amount. No, I am sorry, Marat. I am sorry. My concern is he purchased bond number X. I, I by mistake, I put his number as purchasing bond number Y. Now, X may have gone to political party A, Y may have gone to political party B. Why will that happen, Mr. Sir? Because I will tell you, Marat, because they haven't kept the number one bank in the country. We do expect them to be able to handle this. No, no, not expect to be handled. We were told make sure that this doesn't leak. So, Marat, the way we stored the information, the bond number did not get into the core banking system. If we had been told keep information on this basis, we would have devised our systems accordingly. If we had kept it like that, Marat, any senior bank officer could have found out bond numbers and, and the whole thing would have been out in public domain. Who has how much? All the secrecy. Sir, assistant assistant general manager files an affidavit in support of the application to the Supreme Court for modification and order of a constitution bench. So, very serious matter when you ask for modification of an order. I, of I accept that. I accept that. I accept that. General and manager have... files an affidavit and tells us that look, I'm finding it difficult. The information is maintained in two silos. No, but this, this uh, he has filed the affidavit because he's the he's the man in the spot. He's the person who has to do this job. He's he's the level at which the accounts are kept. We said you must have the person who's uh, who knows what he's talking about. Someone give us a little time, we'll do it. 
not mistaken, earlier also you had given one envelope. <laughs> when they, at the time when the interim order was passed. Not so, I'm sorry, but so that nothing is lost in translation. Then we'll follow that. Well, not, I just, I'm sorry, but I just wanted one clarification as we understand. Lord, may I say one thing, Malad? If your Lordship turns to your Lordship's operative order, there is one way which we may be able to resolve this. Electoral bonds purchased, the detail will include the detail of purchase of electoral bond, the name of purchaser and the denomination. This is one part, Malad. This we have. We can get the, I mean, we can get this in two, three weeks. Malad, I was saying something, Malad. Uh, yes, Mr. Adil. But if your lordship turns, there may be a way out around this, but if your lordship turns to your lordship's order, para 221, page 76. Yes. There are two parts, B and C. If you don't have to create a bridge between the two, then Malad, within three weeks, we can give everything. So, we'll, uh, we'll Malad, give an order. We'll may I, Malad, uh, let, I'm let sorry. Let do it in the court itself. Instead of I wanted to just want to uh, make one respectful suggestion, Malad. Yes. If your lordship sees para 221. Yes. Malad, para, if B and C are not to be matched, then Malad, we can give the information in three weeks. Let me explain how. If we, on the one hand, is the person who purchased the electoral bond and the number of bonds he purchased. That Malad, in two, three weeks, we can get all the figures. In the second, the bonds in cash by political parties, which includes the date of encashment and denomination. That details we have, Malad, that we also we can give. In three weeks, we'll put it all together. Wait, wait, to, wait, wait, wait for what, Mr. Sarvi? Malad, these are all in uh, the because the accounts are separate, the, the payment has come separately and the name was kept separately. We will marry the two and give it. The political parties have already given the details of the encashments made by them. We Correct, Malad. So that, that in any case is there. Yes. As far as B uh, is concerned, uh, we can give it. The details also are already available with you. I am sorry, Malad. It is already available. Yes, so that we can give, Malad. In, uh, we'll just put that figures together and give. The trouble is, Malad, we understood B and C meant that we had to give a complete correlation of who bought how much, how much was received, how much was given to whom and with which bank, uh, or rather which party encashed it from which bank. That bridge was creating that difficulty, Malad. If you don't have to give that matching. Right, what we'll do is we'll dictate a short, we'll dictate an order. 15th February. By 